Welcome back to Kayfabe Science, the only fake science show on the internet that thinks it's weird that dinosaurs turn into chickens and then chickens get turned into dinosaur chicken nuggets. Anyway, I'm your host, Dr. Dave, smooth, just like a silk, and today's episode is... The Lariat and The Clothesline. While most people tend to use these terms interchangeably, in reality, they are two completely separate moves, with the lariat being derived from the old Spanish word larieta, meaning a rope used for lassoing. And just like with the lasso, the lacerator has to throw his rope at his target in order to achieve a laceration. And so, a proper pro wrestling lariat also has to be thrown at the opponent too, meaning that the arm has to go to the opponent, preferably around the neck, which is how you would rope a steer. Furthermore, a good lasso is made from stiff rope, something sturdy enough that way it remains open while it's being thrown, and likewise, a good lariat arm should remain strong as well. Now, the clothesline on the other hand is the complete and total other way around. In the real world, a clothesline is a stationary rope suspended in air used to dry clothes on, and it's usually pulled quite taut in order to support the weight of wet clothing. But if you were to run into one of these clothing lines, then you would get quite the ring around the collar. Thus, as it translates to professional wrestling, a true clothesline has the moves giver standing completely still while the victim runs into the arm instead. And yes, this does mean that JBL's famous clothesline is really just a lariat. It also means that Zanke's spinning lariat is not a clothesline, even if it would dry clothes faster. Street Fighter reference, cause I'm nerdy. Now, which pro wrestling move is better? Well, they both have their pro wrestling pros and cons. The clothesline takes advantage of an opponent who's stuck in an uncontrollable loop running back and forth between ropes, but it requires you to sidestep at just the right time and in just the right place in order to catch your opponent with their guard down and your arm up. Meanwhile, the lariat has the benefit of being able to be aimed at the opponent anytime they're standing, but it's a lot harder to strike with one's arm with as much momentum as one has when they're running full force at you. But let's also remember the big red machine canes lariat from the top rope, which uses the extra momentum of gravity in order to add even more force to the move. Although being 7 foot tall, he has enough height as it is, so he's just showing off. Well, there you have it, the difference between the lariat and the clothesline. I'm sure glad I was able to rope you into this conversation on string theory. 